Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Eric make a dramatic proposal to Donna. Luna showed Poppy her short cocktail dress in the design office and she was confident that RJ would like it. Poppy spilled items from her purse to discover her blush. As Poppy brushed on Luna's makeup, she said RJ couldn't keep his gaze away from her. Luna changed her purse and accidentally covered her mints with her previous bag. Luna realized she was late and accidentally scooped up Poppy's mints, which were beneath her wallet, before frantically stuffing goods into her new purse. At I.L. Giardino, Bill appeared distracted as Liam told him how pleased Steffi and Eric's family were with Eric's rehabilitation. Liam inquired as to when he would meet Poppy, assuming Bill was thinking about her. Bill said that he and Poppy were not hurrying anything, even if he believed what they had already experienced could be built upon in the future. Liam hadn't seen Bill that enamored with a lady. Bill admitted that he felt this way about Kelly, who was an all-around knockout. Liam wondered whether Poppy had something Bill hadn't even realized he was missing. Bill decided to cut short his supper with Liam so he could see Poppy. Liam scowled. Poppy later took Liam's vacant seat. Bill praised her for showing up at the last minute and she told him to consider it a lucky day. He inquired about her daughter. Poppy provided a wonderful report, stating that Luna was happy and in love with RJ Forrester. Bill had no idea it had progressed that far, but he was glad Luna and Poppy were happy. Bill stood, leaned over, and kissed Poppy. RJ arrived at Eric's guest house just as Zim was getting dressed. RJ wanted to ensure that there was no tension between them. Zin rebuffed the notion, saying he expected RJ to be with Luna. RJ stated that Luna was getting dressed with her mother at Forrester. Zin was confident she'd look great. RJ and Zin could not think of a greater reason to celebrate than Eric. Eric informed Donna, who was dressed in a white bejeweled sheath dress, that she looked stunning. She felt like a princess in the gown he had ordered from Forrester. She was still worried about his overloading himself, but he assured it would be a magical night. Ridge and Brooke came, and Eric informed them that they would celebrate Donna that evening. They talked about why others couldn't make it that night. Thomas and Hope were preparing for an HFTF meeting, Finn was working, and Steffi was caring for a sick haze. Katie and Carter arrived first, followed by RJ and Zend. Eric promised everyone a fantastic evening. Later, RJ informed Eric that Luna was on her way. Zen listened in as RJ and Eric described Luna's tremendous support. Eric told RJ to hold on to love, which RJ stated he meant to do. Eric gathered everyone and thanked them for celebrating with him and Donna. He assured it would be fun. He chose to explain more about it later. Ridge approached Eric and asked if he was okay. Eric admitted that he was a little disoriented because he had been thinking that he had been on the floor the last time they had met, and he wasn't sure he'd be back. Eric added that Ridge had been aware of his wishes. Ridge stated that he had the power to make the correct decision and would do it again. Is that what you want or would you rather be dead? Ridge asked. Eric claimed he loved life, his family, and Donna. Ridge noticed that Eric's face said otherwise. Eric stated he had gone to the other side. It had been indescribable and when his turn came again, as it would, he was not scared. He did not want Ridge to be terrified either. Eric cherished life and wished to live. Cheers! Eric spoke softly and drank his champagne. Zend watched, silently smirking as Eric greeted Luna. Aside from that, Luna and RJ stated the residence held special meaning for them because it was where they met. He was grateful they had waited in their relationship. Luna could not wait to be alone with him again. RJ went for a drink and Zin approached Luna. They agreed that it was an excellent celebration. Zin looked at her and said he was enjoying it a lot more now. He complimented Luna on her attractive appearance. RJ returned with drinks and Zin said that he had complimented Luna. Zen praised the pair for assisting Eric and they toasted to those days being behind them. Eric approached Carter and reminded him that he was an important member of the family at their gatherings more than anyone else recognized. Donna spoke with her sisters about Eric's illness. Eric still felt weak and exhausted at times, but the previous symptoms were gone. Donna prayed it remained that way. She wasn't sure what she would do if she lost her honey bear. Eric called everyone's attention. He was prepared to talk, but Donna wanted to say something first. She wasn't sure where to begin. She stated that she felt as if she had been with Eric for a long time, but that they were only getting started. She claimed Eric drastically changed her life and fed her spirit. She said that they were come to honor him. I respectfully disagree. This is not about me. It's all about you, Eric explained. Eric explained that it was all about Donna and their future. 
He didn't think he'd be there without his family, especially his beloved Donna, who had stood by his side. He knew it hadn't been easy, especially since he had refused therapy, but she had not given up on him. He refused to give up on her. He explained that the night was about Donna, who had given him the desire to live another day, and another till the end. To the end, Donna agreed. Eric claimed that she constantly gave to him and never asked for anything. He wanted to give back. He asked Rich for help. Rich helped Eric kneel before Donna. Eric referred to her as his rockin' well of happiness. He asked her to become his wife. Eric beckoned Rich, who handed him a ring box. Will you marry your honey bear? He asked as the family watched in delighted amazement. Eric and Donna's wedding, Bill's father demands, and Poppy's pills go. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Thursday, February 8, 2024 show that Eric Forrester, John McCook, and Donna Logan, Jennifer Grice, Mary. The bold and the beautiful spoilers highlights. Bill Spencer, Don DeMont, boldly asks Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, if he is Luna's, Lisa Yamada's father. Furthermore, Poppy will discover that her magical mints have gone missing. Could Luna have mistakenly thrown them into her purse after Poppy assisted her with makeup? The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Eric Forrester's surprise wedding on Thursday, February 8th, the bold and the beautiful revealed that Eric planned another big gala. This gathering is to commemorate Eric's journey to recovery. The bold and the beautiful spoilers Thursday, February 8th, Eric and Donna's wedding, Bill's father demands, Poppy's pills disappear. Donna was involved in celebration preparations, but her honey bear's marriage proposal will take her entirely by surprise. Donna and Eric are already dressed in white gowns and will marry in front of their loved ones. Many people have wondered why Eric hasn't proposed to Donna yet, especially when he is suffering a fatal sickness. Donna doesn't have much time to prepare, but she'll be happy to marry Eric again. BMB Spoilers, Bill Spencer's Directness On Thursday, February 8th, fans can anticipate Bill to ask Poppy questions. Bill had already inquired about Luna's paternity, but Poppy was ambiguous and did not provide an explanation. After R.J. Forrester's Joshua Hoffman seed sewing, Bill will confront Poppy. Bill will ask Poppy directly if he is Luna's biological father. Also read, BMB Spoilers, Eric Forrester dumps Donna Logan. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Poppy Nozawa's magical mints disappear. According to the bold and the beautiful spoilers on Thursday, February 8th, Poppy will seek desperately for her missing magical mints. Of course, fans are convinced Poppy is using narcotics. When Luna realized she was running late for the Forrester party, she quickly gathered the makeup into her purse. Those who paid close attention noticed that Luna didn't just place the makeup in her purse, but also a tin that looked strangely similar to Poppy's magical mint. BMB Spoilers, Thursday, February 8th. On Thursday, February 8th, Luna may take an extra breath mint because she is worried about being personally invited to this elite gathering. Also read, the bold and the beautiful spoilers Donna and Eric marry, but Quinn claims they're not divorced. Luna will probably search her purse for breath mints. Luna will most likely slip one into her mouth without thinking about what it is. Could Luna's reaction to Poppy's mints, as well as her actions at Eric and Donna's wedding, exacerbate her humiliation?